All right, guys. So um, I've got a book here. Um, Paul Kimmage, Rough Ride. Um, and I'm just I've just been thinking. You know, reading this book. Um, I'm thinking. Um, I've moved on to the 1987 Tour de France. He was a professional writer from 1986 to 1989, and he quit writing at the age of 27. You know, and he could have, you know, he could have stayed on, you know, as a professional for for longer if he wanted to. Um, but yeah, the thing is, he didn't enjoy it, and that's the funny thing. You know, when he was an amateur, you know, he always wanted to become a professional, and that was what he was striving for. You know, he even what he was, he got he did a plumbing apprenticeship um, in Dublin Airport, and um, after uh, the four years were up, um, they got rid of him. So what did he do? He um, you know, he got his life savings and he moved to France to train for the year to become a professional. And eventually, after two years or a year and a half, he became a professional. Do you know what I mean? And for him, it was the, it was like the, uh, what was it called? The um, dream profession, the, the dream job, being a professional cyclist. Then he becomes a professional cyclist and he doesn't like it, you know? He, he you know, like you just read the book, you see he's, he's very negative about it. He doesn't like, um, he doesn't like um, the hours on the, on the bike. He doesn't like, you know, the, uh, uh, the hardship, um, coming last in races. Uh, I think, you know, his first Tour de France, he came, there's 132 finishers, he came 131st, so he was second last. He had to act as a domestique, which means he had to carry other riders' water bottles, he had to um, help them change a tyre if, if their tyre got punctured, stuff like that. And he's just, he was just negative, he didn't really like it, and um, he wanted to become a journalist, he was doing like freelance journalism, um, um, running like diary entries about his, um, about uh, each race, or each day in the Tour. And um, he was like, oh, I much prefer to just, why am I even doing this when I could just go back to Ireland and become a journalist? And that's what he decided to do in the end, do you know what I mean? So yeah, sometimes you you um, you end up desiring something, you work your whole life for it, and then you get it, and suddenly it doesn't mean that much to you, you know? Um, there's no guarantees you're going to like it, you know? Some people train for hours every day to become a professional footballer, a professional rugby player, whatever, and it happens for them, and then they just, they don't want to do it anymore, so, you know... Um, my advice is just, you know, enjoy the moment. Just don't desire these kind of things, you know. Like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a distance runner, you know. And, you know, I'm quite far a bit off the, the professional level, but, you know, I think it, it's possible it might happen for me still, you know, but um, I'm not counting on it. I'm just, you know, I'm not desiring it. You know, I'm not, you know, going into work every day thinking, oh, I wish I didn't need to have to go to work. I wish I was a sponsored runner, you know. Because, you know, that's... I could be a sponsored runner. I could be miserable, do you know what I mean? Like, um, you know, personally, I think that kind of lifestyle is a bit boring, you know. They... They eat, sleep, rest, run, a lot of the pros, and it's like, it's not healthy. You need to do more than just run, do you know what I mean? And, um, oh yeah, oh, you're not running, or you're not eating, um, you're not sleeping, so just, just sit down and just do nothing. Because, you know, if you're standing up, oh, your legs, you're putting too much stress on the legs and you won't recover and stuff like that. It's, it's crazy, I don't really believe in that lifestyle. You know, a lot of top runners from the 70s and the 80s had active jobs, like, um, John Lennon worked on a farm, Steve Jones worked on a construction site, so really... I really don't believe in this kind of crap, do you know what I mean? So, 